Hey guys, it's your girl HBCU Bay, and if you're new to my channel, my name is Marissa, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own mask with only a t-shirt and a pair of scissors. So to begin this project, the first thing you're going to want to do is take your t-shirt and cut the sleeve of the t-shirt completely off. Once the sleeve is completely cut, you're gonna take it and you're gonna face the seam towards you. So the seam of the t-shirt is facing up. Now that you have your cut sleeve, you're gonna take the top flap, it's just extra fabric, and so I would suggest to cut it off because yeah, it's just extra fabric, you really don't need all of it. Once the extra fabric is cut, you can go ahead and get rid of that and throw it away. Now you're gonna take the corner of your t-shirt, fold it in half just by a little bit. And here's where you're gonna insert a few slits on the sides. I think I did about seven. So when you cut all the slits, don't cut all the way through or you're gonna ruin the mask. You're just gonna cut small little, about a quarter of an inch slits on both sides. Go ahead and cut and do the same thing to the other side. Make sure, make sure, make sure that you do not cut all the way through. Keeping the seam facing front, facing you, you are now done with this and you're going to proceed to cutting the strings of the mask. So now you're going to grab your t-shirt, you're going to cut the very bottom of the t-shirt all the way through, and then you have your first string. Cut one more string, just like how you did the first, and there you have your two strings. You're going to stretch them so then they can have a more string effect. Take both strings, and you're gonna make like a figure eight kind of thing, and then you're gonna go ahead and meet both hands and then pull. Stretching the strings out, giving it a more string effect. Now you're gonna take your scissors and go ahead and cut it, and then there you have it. You now have four strings. Now you can put your strings to the side and grab the initial project of your mask. So in this step, you're gonna do a over and under type of technique. So I just take the string and I start by weaving it under. Always make sure you have the seam of the shirt facing front. So I start under, I loop, and then I come back through the front, over, loop, under. And so this step is not too hard, it's just over, under, it doesn't matter which way you start, as long as you're making sure that you weave the string through both sides of the mask. Now you're gonna go ahead and take the strings, tie a loose knot on both ends because you're gonna go ahead and adjust the strings to your face in a later step. So don't make the knots too tight. Okay, so now you're on the final step of your mask, putting it on and adjusting it to your face. So you're gonna to wanna to take the seam side and put that against your mouth, like so. And then you take the string and adjust it around your ear. So I'm gonna take it, put it on, loop it around my ear, and then I'm gonna feel where it fits best on my face. So right about here, let go, and I'm gonna re-tie the knot. Now that I got the knot on this side, I could easily match it up and tie the knot on the other side. So now that both knots are tied, you now have your DIY mask. Put it on, around your ears, 
You can leave the strings as a cute little addition, or you can cut them. Adjust it. There you go. So this step is completely optional, but you can also add a filter in your mask if you would like. So I first take the filter and I fold it in half, and then I go ahead and fold it again. Now you're going to take your filter, take your mask, flip it upside down, and just tuck it in. Make sure the seam faces front. Tuck it all the way through. And there you have it. You now have a filtered mask.